Your eyes aren't open yet. What about you? Oh, it's starting to open. Look at that. Starting to open. What about you? Let me look at you. Oh, big yawn. Yeah, yours are starting to open too. What a gorgeous baby. What about you? Oh, come here, you. What about you? Oh, look at you. You're a little bit lighter than the others, aren't you? So gorgeous. You're going to sniff my hand. <laughs> you watching me, are you? Are you watching me? All right, it's all right. I'm all done now. You can go to your babies. Yes, you can. Oh, am I in your way? Oh. There you go. You can go to your babies. This is why I've got that thing in my face. No, don't want to. What about you, Bronte? How are your babies doing? Hmm? You good? Should we go and see your babies? Yeah? Oh, they're all asleep. We won't wake them. No, we won't. Right. Let me out. <laughs> You're coming out, are you? <laughs> there we go. Mums can come and go as they please. How are they, Lucy? Are they good? Are they good? Yep, yeah. all good. All right, I'll leave you mums in peace. <laughs> hello, <laughs> yeah, hello, hello. You're a gorgeous girl, aren't you? Yes. Something set me off. G'day guys, welcome back. Welcome to pouring your heart out. I am going to play with my larger sea foam or lacing mould today. So I put my video up the other day of this one, these coasters. Um, Hope you enjoyed that one. So this is this small sea foam or lacing mold that I used. And um, yeah, when I made this one, I said to you, I want to do a gold, gold lacing. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. Um, I've, I'm not sure how much resin I need for this. Obviously not this much, but <laughs> I made it up anyway. Um, I'm using the Platinum 360 Plus and I've got this um, carrot collection by Calaberry, it's carrot gold or carat. Here it is. I haven't really done much with this just yet, so I'd like to use it. Let's do a level teaspoon. This is just a little teaspoon, and let's see how that goes. So, my idea for this one is I'm going to make this first my lacing i'm probably going to call it a lacing mold and then the other one a sea sea foam mold oh gosh look at that that's gorgeous just so that we can um, differentiate between the two um so my idea today when you cut the edge off this is 24 centimeters and this tray is 24 centimeters i've got a 20 a 22 and a 24 in the trays this is the 24 and in a few hours, I'm going to let this set up for a few hours, but and in a few hours I'm going to come and I'm going to pour black in here. And then I'm going to wait another couple of hours. So by then, like probably six hours, this will be ready to unmold and put on here. And the black will be a little bit tacky still, so it'll stick nicely. So that's what I'm going to do. And then I'm going to put a clear coat on, and I think I'm going to see if I can find some handles and make a tray. How pretty would that be? Oh my gosh, that would be so amazing. Or a mirror. You know, if you had a mirror and you put this on top of a mirror and made a tray, oh, that would just be gorgeous. But anyway, there's so many things I want to do with this mold. Not enough time. 
too many ideas, not enough time. All right, I think that's mixed in. Still a little, few little specks of mica powder that have come to the surface. Mica powder takes a lot of stirring and it kind of sticks to the side and sticks to the bottom. If you don't stir it really, really well, you get these little bits of mica powder coming up to the surface. And it looks a bit strange, so make sure you stir it really, really well. That's a really pretty colour. So what I'm going to do, I don't know if I'm going to need this, I'll just use that to spread. What I'm going to do with any sort of intricate mould that's got lots of little edges and things, I like to spray it first with my alcohol. I need to fill that up. It's just 100% uh, isopropyl and I put it in here because it has a nice fine spray rather than that one which is a bit bigger spray. So here we go, I spray all over it, straight down if possible, although my little bottle's getting empty. Give it a really good spray. You don't want to miss any little nooks and crannies. And now we're going to pour this over the top. If I've got some left over, which I probably will, I'll have to make something in gold, won't I? So just pour in the one area and just let the resin slowly make its way out because that way it will push into all the little nooks and crannies and just sort of flood the area without creating too many bubbles really. So that's the plan. Now <laughs> look at this. Oh, what's it doing? Oh, it's the alcohol. It's the alcohol coming to the surface. It looks weird, doesn't it? Very strange. Okay, it's not going to do anything. <laughs> it's getting there and it's not going to do anything. Let's just help it along. I need to make sure that um, you know, I haven't put too much on here. So I'm just using my little silicone brush. And just get that to the edge. Hopefully I haven't put too much on. So I don't want to have a mess to clean up and it all runs over the edge. So when it's done and I unmold it, can you please remind me to weigh it? <laughs> because if you weigh it, then you'll know how much resin you've used. Makes sense? Because so I'm not going to use nearly all of that, probably half. But um, I didn't want to wet it, you know, by putting water in it. Didn't want to do that. And then I'd have to wait for it to dry. pushing it in to all those little areas. It's a really good idea to push with your little silicone brush if you've got one. If you haven't, you could use a, um, a stick, a pop stick. Oh, where'd that go? I thought I saw a hair. Maybe not. Could have just been a bit of <laughs> I don't know. Could have just been a bit of um, gold resin. See, it's making those little lines. Looks like hairs, but I don't think it is. Okay, so once you've done that, and I'm going to take some off. Look at that. Used, didn't use very much at all. But yeah, I will. I'll, I'll try and remember to weigh it. That way, I know like how much to use next time. Gonna take some of this off. Just be helpful not to put so much on in the first place, wouldn't it? Yep. But by doing this, I'm pushing all the resin into those little grooves anyway. I have to find something to, else to do with some gold resin. I don't know what I could do. Maybe I could do a small run as well. Put some, make some gold lacing in a small one. Then I could have a tray and a set of coasters, couldn't I? Yep. <laughs> All right. Now, the other thing I like to do is just pick it up and just drop it. Try and help the resin get into where it's supposed to go. Like that. And then we can just push over again with the 
you don't, I mean, you can use the um, silicone brush or you can just use your little palette knife. I think everyone's probably got a palette knife. Probably gives a little bit more pressure, actually, the palette knife. You can push down a little bit harder than the um, silicone stick. Now, when you're doing this, make sure that you've got all the resin off the top. Because if you don't, if you've got these little things covered in resin, when you peel it out, that's going to have a little skin over the top of all your little circles. So try and get all the resin off the top. And again, that's just pushing all the resin in. So there we go. Try not to take too much of it off. <laughs> I think that'll do. Alrighty. So that's done. I'm just going to clean up my edges. while it's still wet um, and yeah I'm gonna let that set up for about yeah probably four hours and then I'll come back and do that one and then let that set for two hours something like that all right that's the first step done I'll see you for the second step right now um, it's actually the next day I got caught up doing other things um, I'm gonna pour the black in here first just because I've got my resin ready and I don't want to have it sitting around too long um, I made up this is the platinum 360 plus swiping my stick off um, I made up 100 grams of A and 43 grams of B so 143 grams and hopefully it'll be enough just to coat the bottom there all right that'll do in there just using the Lores midnight black Actually, I should put my other glove back on now shouldn't I <laughs> now that I've finished with my camera get my glove back on so I'll do this and then we'll unmold the lacing the um it dried like darker than I was expecting I was kind of hoping that it would be a more bright gold but it's a more sort of more of a like an antique gold so I'm not sure if I'm going to be happy with it I'm, I did a little test piece you know how I had leftover resin I poured it into um, some of these smaller ones I unmolded that one I've got more here that I haven't unmolded yet but I poured it into those rather than waste it Anyway, I'll tell you about that in a minute. Um, so I thought, I wonder what would happen if I spray painted it. Because there's no reason why you, like you could pour any colour you want and then spray paint them. Uh, but I thought, I wonder if I'd get a brighter gold with spray painting it. So I did that. I took it outside and I spray painted it. I'll show you uh, in a minute. I'm just going to spray my edges with some alcohol. Because... Um, <laughs> The resin does like to cling to the edges and make little bubbles. Well, the bubbles, I should say, like clinging to the edges. So I just find it if I give them a quick spray. Try and use 100% alcohol. You don't want any water, you know, in your resin. So try and use 100% if you can. So this will set up. And I'll just wait like probably two or three hours. And then we can put that gold lacing on top and I went and had a look in my drawer of goodies and I found a couple of handles so um, I'll have to decide which of those I want to use I've got a black set just cleaning my stick off I've got a black set of handles um, actually I have to take these off now and anyway, bear with me I'll get my gloves off I'll just torch this there you go there you go back again all right let's give that a quick torch don't know what that is <laughs> so yeah I was a bit I like I really loved the color of the gold when I was mixing it up but then it just dried a bit sort of dull I wasn't happy with it Uh, something else in there <laughs> I don't know where that came 
from? Where do these things come from? Oh my gosh. It wasn't in the mould to begin with. Maybe it was in my cup. It's a clean cup though. Alright, so that's the black. Um, now, I've got the black handles. I don't want anything too big because it's not a huge tray. So that's those kind of what it looked like with the black handles. Um, so you'd go black, gold, black. Um, otherwise, there's these guys, which are really pretty, but they may be a bit big for such a small tray. I think it, that, I think it looks a bit odd. I think it's a bit oversized. If the tray was bigger, um, yeah, I think that would be better. So I'll keep them for another use when I do a big, bigger tray. But um, yeah, well, I think these will do better. Hey, I think those those look more in proportion. So I'll use those. So uh, when I do my clear coat, once I've put that in there, uh, and then I'll do the clear coat and then stick those into the resin while it's wet. So without further ado, let's get these lacing out shall we it's the first time i've used this mold this lacing mold as opposed to i'm going to call this lacing and that one seafoam just so that i don't get confused when people order them i'd hate to send you the wrong thing i have been known to send the wrong thing oh my gosh i try not to i'm just i'm trying to be so careful but oh only human. I think it's only happened once. <laughs> Ta-da! Look at this. I got all these little dots on top. Easy enough to pick off though. Look at that. Pick them off. That'll be a job for later, picking them all off. <laughs> okay. Now, this is what I was saying to you. That would kind of be over there. I do need to cut the edge off though. Now one side, this side's kind of a little bit more gold, but I don't really like this side. I'm going to come up behind the camera and I want to show you what I'm talking about. So this is the this is the bottom. It's a bit smoother. Doesn't have a lot of like depth to it, I don't think. The other side, it seems to have a little bit more of a 3D effect because it's kind of um, where the bubbles were. It's got a little lip next to each bubble, so it kind of gives a more of 3D kind of a look. So I prefer the side that I've poured on to the flat side. But, of course, you know, you do it whichever way you want. Now, um, that was the little one that I did. That's the flat side. I spray painted the other side. So it's a little bit shinier and also it's got more of that sort of 3D look. So that was the normal gold, put it there over the black. That was the normal gold straight out of the mold. And then that's the three, that's the um, uh, spray paint. It's not a lot of difference, I guess. There's a tiny bit. I don't know, can you see? Probably can't even see a difference. Can you see a difference in colour? Anyway, I'm going to go and spray paint it. Um, I don't think you need to come outside with me <laughs> and spray paint it. Um, I'm just going to put it on a piece of cardboard. I'm going to take it outside. Uh, where's my can? Where's my can gone? Lost my can. Oh gosh, what did I do with it? Can't find it. Um, I'll find it. Hang on. I don't know what I've done with it. Might still be outside. Found it. <laughs> That's it there. Uh, Krylon 18 karat gold plate metallic paint. That's one of those that you've got to shake for three minutes. So I'm going to go outside and do that. Uh, and then I'll come back to you once this has had a chance to set up and it's touch dry. So my resin, let's make another little hole there. When I push on it like that, it leaves a little dent <laughs> with the stick. So, um, oops, 
I shouldn't have done that. <sighs> oh, get out of that bit of dust. All right, um, I was just trying to melt it again. So here is the finished piece. Um, it's a little bit bendy, only because it's so thin, So, but it's easy to cut. So what we need to do now is just cut this edge off. I'm going to go as close to the edge as I can. And then once I've done that, uh, I'm going to mix up my resin. I haven't done it yet because I didn't want it sitting there curing in a cup while I did this. Not that this is going to take me very long, but it's a little bit of time. Hope it fits in the tray mold. I haven't tested it yet, so I hope it fits. The other thing you could do is, um, wouldn't it be nice to actually dust this with uh, holographic um, powders? I was thinking about how to do it though because I don't think it will be too easy to actually dust like inside. Oh, it might be. Whoops. I'm just wondering. I guess you could dust inside there. I mean, you'd get it all over the top as well, but you get it inside there um, and then pour black on it and then turn it over um, and then put it on a, a black background. Or um, I think you could just pour this in maybe black and then just dust this that would be easier just dusting that put it on top and put your clear on um, then you'd have like this holographic iridescent sort of chameleon looking piece how cool would that be hey i think there's so much you could do with it let me know what you would do with this <laughs> look at this long piece Let's see if i can get it all cut in one piece it's like Peeling an apple in one piece. Who does that? Me. <laughs> I'm trying try to peel the whole thing in one piece. So yeah, um, let me know if there's anything you know that you would do with this particular mold. I think it would be really nice as a clock. Um, but yeah, it's a multitude of things you could do with it. There we go. Look at that. Whoops. We don't need this though. <laughs> Let's get rid of that. All right, now the test to see if it's going to fit in my mold. If it doesn't fit, I'm in trouble, aren't I? All right. I'm going to make sure that there's nothing on it, stuck to the back of it. Make sure you've got any sort of hairs or loose bits of resin or whatever off because it'll show up against the black. All right. Oh, gosh. How do I do this? Oh, there's a bit there. How do I do this? Oh, I'm dropping bits into my resin. All right, here we go. Um, I don't think I'll be able to move it once it's in, so I'll just have to guesstimate. It's in, it's in. Woohoo! Look at that. Oh, how cool does that look? So pretty. Wow, that is so pretty. Alrighty, so now I'm going to go and mix up my resin. Bit of dust in there. I'm going to go and mix up my clear resin um, and we'll pour that in. And then um, once I unmold it, I will put a little gold edge around it. So it kind of looks like this again with the little gold edge around it. You don't have to you can leave it like that if you want to but I just think it'll look nice with a, a gold edge just to tie it all together um, I should work out where my handles are going to go too because I can put those in now I have to try try and get it I either have to get both of these inside a hole or both of them on top of the um, lacing just so that they're both the same height okay that's on that's on the lacing there now i'll try and do it on the same side here no <laughs> that one wants to go into the hole oh gosh i might just have to move it around see this is why i didn't want to do the res make up my resin too soon 
I want to work out where I'm going to put these. So that's though all all four little feet there are sitting on top of the gold lacing. I just need to make sure that they're equal distances apart as best as you can as best as you can I think that's about right I will get my little tape measure out and just measure them but I'm going to put you on hold I'll measure that make sure it's in the right spot mix up my clear resin and I will be right back right oh I've got my resin now with the first layer I did 100 grams of A and 43 grams of B I've made up double that now. I probably don't need as much. I probably don't need it all, but um, I thought I would just make up enough so that I'm, it's doming because I don't want a lip on the edge. Uh, so I've got 200 grams of A and 86 grams of B. And if it's too much, I'll just use it for something else. Now, I was looking at this, and you can see there's a tiny little gap between the lacing and the edge of the mould. Um... And it's probably because I didn't cut this. See how those bits are wider? I should have cut them right back to this area here. So I've actually lost all that. Maybe laying it down on a um, like a cutting board and then slicing around it with a knife or some smaller, sharper scissors that you can actually cut right up there so that you're not losing all that because um, I have got a little bit of a gap but like I said I'm gonna paint the edge with gold and I'll just cover that up but next time I will remember to cut right up against the edge of that all right so here we go I'm gonna spray with alcohol just because there's lots of little areas there where the bubbles are going to want to stick I'm try and get them everywhere 100% alcohol here we go and hopefully this will bring out the shine I'm going to try and just pour in one area get myself more comfortable pour in one area just in a thin stream and let the resin slowly roll over and that should hopefully reduce the amount of bubbles than if you just pour all over the mold. So the resin is just slowly, slowly filling in all those little holes and hopefully we won't get too many bubbles. So just take your time. How cool is this? If you're into Dalmatians, you could make a Dalmatian. Is a Dalmatian white with black spots? Or is it black with white spots? I think it's white with black spots. So, yeah, if someone likes Dalmatians, you could do them a Dalmatian mould tray. Nearly there. Just taking my time. I do think that this will drastically reduce the amount of bubbles in the tray by doing this. If there are a few, they'll just come up to the surface and then I can zap them with the torch. Oh, look at that. I'm almost out of resin. That was well, well planned. And my handles are staying in place. Let me just stand back and have a look across the top. See how much more I can put in here. Oh, a little bit more. I just stand over there and look across because I've got a window there. And I can see if it needs a little bit more. So I would like to dome it so I don't have a, an edge. The doming means it's just sort of curving over the top. Resins do like doing that automatically. They like to dome. All right, let's give it a quick little torch. There's a couple of big bubbles in the center from where I started pouring my resin in before I decided that I was going to just let it flow over so it's there and there. So what I'm going to do with those, I'm going to get one of my little sticks with the cotton wool balls on the end, these little duvalackies, and hopefully that will just pick up that bubble in there. 
There it goes. And there it goes. So it's come to the surface. And now, oh, you popped on your own. Let's pop you. Goodbye. All right. Torch again. Don't want to get too close to your mold. You don't want to burn your mold or burn your resin. You can actually burn resin. It'll leave a skin and change colour. So just be careful. Teensy little bit left. Um, yep, we can take a tiny bit more. Okay, so that's interesting. That's like, um, what is it exactly? Mm, 430 grams of resin for this 24 centimetre tray. Uh, if you want to know what it is in ounces, just divide 430 by 30. It'll be close enough. Let me go and check that. It's looking so good. Wow, I'm so happy with it. <gasps> Actually, I don't think I'll scrape. Because, you know, on the inside of your cup there, especially these ridges here, um, the resin doesn't get mixed properly. And then you're scraping it out and it may be a bit streaky. So, best not to do that. Oops, let's get that little drop. Alrighty, now um, I'm just going to have to give it a torch every every few minutes just to keep those bubbles at bay, those that want to pop up. And I'm going to have a little look and see if I can see any more bubbles. There's a couple along the edge there. They're kind of stuck in between the edge of the gold and the mold. So actually what I might do is just run this all the way around just gently. I don't want to overflow the resin. All the way around just to make sure there's no bubbles. But spraying the mould with the alcohol first does really, really help with the bubble problem. And uh, the 360 Plus by Platinum, it's a relatively, well, it's not, I guess it's not a relatively thick resin, but it's not as thin as the Ultra Clear or Super Clear. Um, the thicker the resin, the, the faster it sets up. But... Um, you just have to be careful. I am going to cover this now before I get any more little bits of dust and fluff and stuff falling into it. <laughs> oh, I'll bring you down for a close up. Oh, there's some more bubbles. I will keep torching it, but I'll bring you down um, and just so that you can see how gorgeous it is. Here we go. It's the ring light in the way. It's always annoying, isn't it? Oh, there's a bubble. It popped up. Gotcha. All right, let's have a look all the way around. Yell if you see a bubble. I don't know if that's a bubble or a speck of dust. I have to try and get that out. It's all magnified through the camera, so I can see it better when I'm looking through the camera. Yell out if you see something that I need to pick out. Is that a bubble or a bit of dust? Bubble. It's actually good looking through the camera because you can see things that you might not see otherwise. It's a bubble. Just got to don't drop your camera in. A little bit of fluff. So anything that's in there is going to show up against the black. So you'll have to be careful. Okay, well, I'm going to cover it and then I'll come back and check it. <laughs> See, they do keep popping up. I don't know where they come from. Seriously, where are they hiding? So you just have to 
come back and check them because you don't want to have your, you know, your beautiful shiny surface spoiled by a bubble. Look at that. How gorgeous is that? All right. I'll, um, I better go. It's time for a coffee. <laughs> I've been so busy lately, all my projects. It's good though. Um, oh, there's a mark. No, it's on my screen. <laughs> there's a bit of dirt on my screen. All right. I've got verbal diarrhea now. I won't shut up. All right, I'm going to go and I will see you tomorrow for the unmolding. See you then. It's the next day. I'm going to have my coffee while I talk to you. <laughs> Because I'm really keen to get this out. Right. Got my pen. Deco colour. Let's get it out. Hope it'll come out nicely. It's always a worry, isn't it, if something's going to come out or not. Yay! <laughs> Let's see if the handles work. It's out! Look at that! Amazing! Oh, it looks so much better without the mold there around it. How cool is that? Amazing! Doesn't it make a nice little jewellery tray? Trinket tray? Now, the decision. Do I put gold on the edge or leave it like that? There's the sides. Look at that. Can you see a bubble? Can you see a bubble? Oh, there's a tiny one just there. Not much in the way of bubbles at all, is there? Wow. All right. Um, I'm going to do it. I'm going to go for it, I think. I think. <laughs> the only thing is the gold is going to be a different shade. Oh, I don't know, you guys. I don't know what to do. I wish you could talk to me. I might do a live one day of doing some resin just so we can chat. We don't have to do much work. We can just chat. Hey, what do you think? Oh, gosh. I'm so indecisive. Hmm. I'm just worried that the gold, this gold, is going to look different to that gold, which is why I didn't use those other handles. Hmm. Might leave it like that. And put a photo up and say, what do you think, guys? Move a little bit and then I can wipe it off. Let me get an Elko wipe, just in case I don't like it. And then I can wipe it straight off. I'll just see what it looks like, okay? Tiny bit. Get that Elko wipe ready to go. All right, let's just do a little tiny bit. Do we like it? Do we not like it? <laughs> there we go. Oh, I don't know. Gosh, I'm indecisive today. All right. Um, I'm actually just going to leave it like that, like I said. And uh, I'll take a photo of it. I'll put it up on my Facebook group. You guys tell me what you think. It's just that that gold is going to be a different color. So that's my only concern. And I think it might spoil it. Because you know how they say less is more? The whole design is this beautiful gold lacing and I don't want to take away from it by putting gold around the edge that doesn't match. Um, it's like, like those handles, hey? If I'd put those handles on, see what that would have looked like. Probably would have looked all right. But then if I, if I use those handles, I'll use that gold because it's a much shinier gold. So we'll save that for another day. All right, so that's it. <laughs> Let me bring you down for a bit of a close-up of this gorgeous one. Didn't really need a big unmolding, did it? Unmolding video, seeing there wasn't really much to unmold. We've already seen it. There's the top. kind of leopardy isn't it same thing is the leopard black with tan spots or is it tan with black spots 
You could make a leopard print tray for sure. It's kind of leopard printy, or is it more lacy? Don't know. Anyway, there it is. Hope you've enjoyed the video. There's the handle stuck in nicely. Let me know what other colour schemes I could do with this. Um, and you don't have to put handles on it. You could put, um, you drill a hole through the centre and have it as a clock. Um, um, yeah, you could do holographics, all kinds of things in it. It's really pretty. Love it. All right, so that's it. And yeah, I think I'll just leave it plain and let the lacing shine, so to speak. But next time I'll cut it a little bit closer to the edge. <laughs> but I don't think it matters. It still looks gorgeous. I love it. All right, thank you ever so much for watching really appreciate it and let me know what you think of it down in the comments and what other color schemes i could do with it there's different ideas i could do with it all right love you all take care bye for now